What's going on guys, Jason Rogers back again with another video. In this one, I'm gonna give you three tips on what you need to do to buy your first house. Number one is credit. You gotta have credit, why is that? Because it's gonna determine your interest rate. If you have crappy credit, then you're gonna get the most horrible interest rate out there. And you don't necessarily need, you know, perfect credit, just decent, you need good credit, you know, and what's considered good, that's 700 and above and um, it's not that hard to get there just go ahead open up a credit card and you want to use that credit card as little as possible it's called your credit utilization and um, you want to have a high credit limit so try to increase your credit limit and so that way when you go to make some purchases you're not using much credit you know if you have a credit limit of five hundred dollars and you buy something for a hundred dollars well, you're using a lot of your credit. Now, if you have a credit limit of 13,000 and you buy something for a hundred bucks, you're not using much of your credit. So I hope that example made a lot of sense for you. Number two is you have to have a steady source of income. And it doesn't necessarily have to be at the same job, just in the same career field. So I happen to be working at Walmart. And if I go, you know, start off working at Target for a year and I say, hey, you know, I want to switch jobs. Let me go work at Walmart and I work there for a year. Well, that's still considered two years of work experience. You know, it's still in the retail field. So that's number two. Number three is you have to have some kind of down payment. And, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be quite a bit. You know, there's a lot of programs out there. You know, it depends on which state you're in, which county you're in. But there's a lot of programs that will give you a grant. And not a loan, but a grant. A grant is forgivable. So that's free money. And I, you know, I got a grant of $2,500. That's free. I don't have to pay that back. And that went to my closing cost. And so, you know, that really helps out a lot. And there's many other, you know, loans out there where you don't have to put anything down. It helps if you put a little bit down. But, um, you know, there's programs where you don't have to put anything at all. So, you know, to get that little bit of a, a seed money, I like to call it, you have to work overtime. You have to work a second job. You know, on $100,000 on an FHA loan, which is a government-backed loan, you know, you hear it all the time. Um, and you can do your own research on it and stuff. But you only need 3.5% down. So on $100,000, that's 3500 bucks. you know, so... You know this big daunting task of finally getting a home you know this home ownership you know it's not that scary it's not that big of a hurdle you know there's certain things that you need in line to get there but you know it's not you know this huge accomplishment that you know nobody nobody can get to because of you know um things in their life or whatever you know just work hard man just i guess what i'm saying is just work hard and um, if you're consistent, you know, if you really want it, you can get it. And I hope this short video helped a lot of you guys out there. I'm on my way to work. Um, you know, I'm going to be getting a drone here in a couple days. And I hope to, you know, shoot some really nice videos of some houses out here. I'm in Panama City, Florida, and there is a ton of development going on out here. And, um, man, it is beautiful. And, you know, even though I'm in Panama City, Florida, I'm, I live five minutes away from the beach. You know, my house that I just bought. So, and I bought it for $175,000. And, again, I was really quick on getting that. You know, I mentioned that in a previous video. I was really quick. I made an offer four hours after it hit Zillow. And so I guess that's a bonus tip for you guys. You have to be really quick. If you see a deal, bam, tell your realtor, hey, call them up. Hey, I want to get in this house. ASAP, pronto, can we get in tomorrow morning? Okay, cool, let's get in tomorrow morning. And then, you know, after you review it, do your due diligence, make an offer that same day, man. You gotta be quick because this is a hot market, especially right now, um, at, and this is May 1st, 2023. You know, it's a red hot market, so if you want a house, you know, you really gotta, you gotta want it, you gotta make an offer, you gotta know your area. And I guess that's tip number four, is know your area, become an expert, farm your area. They call that farming in real estate. You know, you know exactly where the good areas are, where the bad areas are. You know where the nice houses are, where the high rents are. And um, yeah, guys, you got to be quick. You got to be an expert. You got to have decent credit. You got to have steady cash flow. And um, you got to have a nest egg, a little seed. That doesn't have to be much, 3500 bucks. You know, you can make that 
within six months just working overtime or a second job and um yeah guys i hope this video helped a lot of you i hope it inspired you and um i'm headed into work right now until the next video thanks